Hello, good morning everybody. Uh, my name is Gretchen Palmer and today I'm just going to talk really quickly about our primitive brain and how it is wired to keep us safe but oftentimes uh, is what's keeping us stuck. So let's just jump right in. So we have a primitive brain. We have a part of our brain. Um, lots of people call it the subconscious brain. I like calling it the primitive brain. I've heard other people call it the toddler brain, right? The lizard brain, um, the animal brain. We have a part of our brain that is wired to keep us safe and alive. Um, it, it kicks up. Um, it starts to work when stress enters in, when we, when we feel that feeling of stress, um, and it kicks in our fight and flight mode. It sends information to different parts of our brain that then send information out to different parts of our body um, that causes us to get into that fight or flight mode, right? Um, and it was super helpful when way back in the day when we were hunter-gatherers, right? When we were in the middle of a field foraging for food um, and then we would hear there's a, like a lion over there, we need to run, we need to fight, right? But as we evolved that part of our brain didn't it hasn't evolved with us and so now as we're living in in a different type of world right in a more sophisticated world that part of our brain sees things as lions consistently sees things as lions right in the field trying to eat us so things like sitting in traffic things like deadlines right things like um Oh gosh, so many things, right? Like, um, I'm just trying to think, uh, taking care of kids, right? They see that as a threat. Um, and so what ends up happening is that we're just in this constant state of high stress, right? We're in this constant state of being in fight or flight. Um, and the deterioration that comes from that on our body is detrimental. It could kill us, honestly, um, because what happens when we're in the fight or flight mode in our body, certain hormones are released like cortisol, which helps put blood sugar, right? Sugar into the bloodstream so that we can use that sugar and convert it into energy. But also all of, most of our blood is taken from our organs and our insides and pushed out to our outer extremities so that and the large muscles so that if we need to run, we can do that. If we need to fight, we can do that. Um, but what happens with this after prolonged exposure um, is our our digestion also slows down. This is just fascinating for me. But our digestion slows down. So any like non-essential functions slow down. So if you can think about, well, okay, my digestion is slowing down. And if I'm in a constant state of stress, like how is that going to affect my body, right? Like you got to get that stuff out, <laughs> right? But if we're in a constant state of stress, it's not going to work. You're going to get clogged up. You can get sick. You can get things like leaky gut, right? Like all of these things that are really detrimental. It's hard to lose weight when things don't flow. Um, and so the best advice the advice I want to give to you uh, right now in terms of like getting out of that stress cycle. Oh, and then, sorry. And then oftentimes we feel that stress and our cute primitive brain is like, go get chocolate because we know, right? We know that if we go and get something that's been highly processed and it's highly um, refined, we're going to, once we eat it, we're going to get this huge rush of dopamine and we're going to feel good for a minute, Right. But it, but what that does is it just becomes a constant cycle of being in stress, eating poorly, sleeping poorly, right? Gaining weight, um, you, having chronic constipation, right? Like um, having heart issues, fatigue, right? Being up, getting angry, being impatient, right? Like all, and this is all coming from the fact that our primitive brain thinks that our lives are are in constant threat, right? Which is, it's our job. That's what we're supposed to do. So what I want to share with you and how to fix that is um, take some time. And I know your guys are like, ugh, take time, right? Like take a minute or two 
And just when you're feeling stress, pause and ask yourself, why am I feeling this stress? And just see what happens. I guarantee you it's going to cause cause you to get out of that stress cycle. I guess I won't guarantee you, but 99% of the time it's going to help you get out of the stress cycle and help you lower everything, come back to homeostasis. Um, and it'll allow you to begin to work from your adult brain, right? The prefrontal cortex, our human brain. And it'll allow you to think rationally. It'll allow your functions to work, right? And it's just simple. Just pause. That's all you have to do. Okay, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thanks so much. Bye.